write a plug. Just drop every letter. Just drop every letter. Let's, let's hear it. Here All right, here we go. Subject, how do I know if my mother really loves me? Wow. Good morning, Stephen Shirley. I'm a 22-year-old mother of a beautiful three-year-old daughter. I'm also a full-time student, and I work full-time. Now to my issue, my mom. She is 42 and has been a burden to me for as long as I can remember. As a child, she gave me away to someone who abused me because she wanted to still go out and party. When I finally got with her, I was molested by a family member, and when she found out, she didn't do anything. My dad was in jail until I was 18, and I am still trying to build a relationship with him. At 16, I got a full-time job and basically started supporting myself. I graduated from high school and went to college. At 19, I had my daughter, and my relationship with my mom makes me question myself as a parent. I am afraid of failing my daughter the way my mom did me. I graduated with an associate degree last May, and I am currently in my senior year for my bachelor's degree. Last year, I got a good job and started making good money, but that only made the problem worse. She always has her hand out, and when I say no, she calls me self and goes on and on about how much of a bad person I am. Yet she was the one who was stingy with her love and her time. Over the years, I have confided in a few other family members that have supported me throughout my life. She was supposed to be one of those people. She was supposed to be my number one fan. I have spent many nights crying and ready to give up because I felt like she never loved me. She always wants to live in the glory of my accomplishments and I am tired of it. I've been trying to stay strong, but I don't know if I can take it anymore. People have started to tell me that she may be a little bit jealous of my accomplishments because she never thought I would make it this far without her help. And I'm starting to believe them. I know the Bible says to honor thy mother and father, but how long should I allow her to batter me and take advantage of me? I've really been considering cutting her off for a while because I have goals and I only want to surround myself with positive energy. Please help. Signed, hurting inside. First of all, I, I have to commend I you to yeah, on, on all of your accomplishments. I, I really do. You've done so much at such a young age. So I really want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Stay in school. Keep your job. Stay on course. Stay focused. Don't let anyone, and I mean anyone, not your mom, not anyone, tear you down. Remember, you have a three-year-old daughter uh, uh, that is watching everything you do, and you have to be an example to her. So if you continue to do that, you will not fail your daughter. Now, as far as your mother is concerned, uh, obviously you are not following in her footsteps. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're not doing that. Uh, um, uh, you're anything but selfish and a bad person, and it's wrong for her to guilt you into taking care of her. She's only 42. She could work. She can, no, no one says that, she, you know, you didn't say in the letter that anything's wrong with her, where she can't go out and get a job or, or whatever. You should not be the, the parent in this situation. Your mom is the parent. You're the child. You're acting more like the parent. She's acting more like the child. Uh, uh, there's so many things that you've gone through in your life. Now is the time for you to uh, uh, go ahead and graduate, keep your good job, take care of your daughter, go on to live a happy and fruitful life, okay? Your mother... Yes, the Bible says to honor thy mother and thy father that thy days should be long on this earth. But but what is she doing? Your mother, she's taking oh, away I from so you. You know, I know you do. Oh, I know I you so do. And, and uh, we will be back with yeah. part two of this strawberry letter. How do I know that my mother really loves me? You have your own goals. You want to surround yourself with positive wow. energy. This is a bad mother right here. We'll wanna, be back in five minutes. I want to hear you on this one, TV. Yeah, come I on, guys. You're listening to the Steve Harvey all right, let's get back into this letter. Subject, how do I know if my mother really loves me? Written by a 22-year-old mother of a beautiful three-year-old daughter. Works full-time, goes to school full-time, has had a rough childhood, uh, child molestation. Her mother abandoned her. Her father's in jail. I mean, just a rough childhood, but through all that, she managed to uh, go to school full-time, work full-time, and in a year, she'll be graduating with her BA. I mean, just a phenomenal young lady who's doing big things. The problem is 
her mother now is uh, now that the daughter is doing well. Now her mother has her hand out and uh, she's uh, talking about her, you know, saying uh, yeah, bad things yeah. about her and, and everything. So you could take it from there. Tyler. Well, well, for the first thing I want to tell you is the first thing you have to do is let that go. You have an idea or a precept of what a mother is, and as long as you hold on to that, you're never going to be happy. She's never going to be happy thinking my mother was supposed to be this, my mother was supposed to be that. Somebody has, you know, society says this is what a mother is. Your mother is not that. You have to let that go. Uh, give up the hope of her being something that she is not, number one. You also have to remember that she had you when she was 19, 20 years old, even though you were 19 when you had a child. You don't know her experience. Her, her mother has had her own experiences. And if a lot of times with our parents, we start to think that they're not human. They didn't go through anything. But if she ever sits down and talks to her mother and gets to her the truth of where her mother has been, she would probably understand a lot more about her. Now, none of that excuses anything that she's done. She, she, the, her mother may very well love her, but just not know how to because of her experiences. So if you want to know if, if your mother loves you, then there's a way to get to the truth of who she is by asking the right questions. That's what I would say to her. But the first thing I would say is let that go. And don't worry about being your mother be, uh, for your daughter because you won't be because you're aware of it. She seems very smart, very intelligent. She's very aware of the entire situation that has happened in her life. So as long as you're, you're aware, that's the first step of healing. Right, and she's already doing that. She's yeah, already being yeah, a great mom yeah, to her daughter. A great yeah, person, yeah. period. But I, I would suggest to Tyler some counseling for them. Absolutely. Because, yeah, Absolutely. She, she's got to get past the hurt of right. her mom disappointing her all those years and all of that. Not the being first part there for her. Point, uh, the first part of getting past the hurt is realizing that. It's yeah. just you got to give up the hope of her being the kind of mother kind that you want. That you yeah. think she should be. Yeah. Right? How do you, how do you, you be the, the kind of mother that you want. Right. That right. you want it, though, right. to your daughter. How do you handle her mother wanting a handout on a daily of baby? Yeah, now, now, now that's yeah. tough. Listen, I take care of my father, and my, everybody knows I talked about him. He wasn't the best father in the world, but but I take care of him. I honor him, as she's talking about. I honor your father and your mother. I honor him. I make sure he has what he needs. But there's there comes a point in your life, I'm dealing with this right now, where I've had to cut some family members off saying, listen, I, I've got to take care of myself. You, you cannot... You cannot survive in a boat with somebody. If you're drowning, you got to get yourself to safety first before you can help somebody else. Right. I'll pull them in. So I don't think she should. She should be doing as much as uh, every time a mother asks. She shouldn't. Yeah. She does, She has no obligation to do it. Yeah. Again, she's yeah. 42. Mom can work and yeah. do what she needs. And mom sounds a little jealous of her. She does. She does. And, yeah. and you can say no. It's just say it respectfully and tell yeah. your mom why. You know. You, you, know. Know, you don't even need to give an explanation yeah. because a lot of times when you say no, it just means that. And if you if you you say no to somebody no. and they keep trying and they're trying to control you. So yeah. no is no. I can't. I've got to take care of me and my daughter. You've got to figure that out on your own. Yeah, absolutely. Tough love is good She's love. done good putting herself through school. No, yeah, she, I, yeah. I, I love this young child. lady. Yeah. I, I love her. Yeah, full-time job, yeah. full-time student. That's awesome. She got her she a, be celebrated. A, a degree. Now she's getting her bachelor's, and she's making good money now. Now yeah. here they come. So I'm sure you experienced Oh, I totally, I totally yeah. experienced that. Uh -huh. to shut them fools down. It never stopped, did it, and, and No, because here's the thing about it is, it's, uh, like, I, 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 I will give and give and give. I love helping people, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing nothing for not one of my family members unless they are helping themselves. Yeah. Yes, right. yeah. You're sitting Bottom around line. waiting for a check every month, that ain't, you ain't, I swear you ain't gonna get right. it. Right. The minute you go to work, and you, I don't care if you just, if you're working at McDonald's trying to help, then I'm willing to jump in and help yeah. you. Yeah. But everybody's gotta stand on their own feet. And I think that's what this young lady is saying. Her, she doesn't like the handouts. It's right. like her mom is just with her hand out right. there every Constantly. step of the way. Well, I'm your you mama, know. do this. No, mama, yeah. you, you, no, you gotta right. do yeah. You know, that's the same thing I love about my mother, man. My mother never asked me for a thing. Mm -hmm. Neither never, did my mom. Never asked me for a dime. And that made me give everything in the world oh, to her because wow. she just wanted to make sure I had, no, baby, keep that. Keep you that. Okay. I don't, you okay? He's like, Mama, I'm really, really good. No, baby, I don't need that. Mom, wow. I'm really, really good. Did she ever try to give you money? Like my mom tried to <laughs> yeah. give you money. No, yeah. Mom. Yeah. Right. Your money's no good here. Oh, right. man, I got to tell you yeah. a story about her wanting to cash her check for uh -huh. Christmas. This was, this was okay. really I tried to tell him really quick. She was, it was, we were in Amy, Louisiana, where, where we're from, a small town. And she's like, I'm going to cash my check. Now, I gave her the check. Uh -huh. I get her, she was giving the check every month before she died. So she gets the check and she's like, I want to go to Walmart and cash my check. I said, Mom, why do you want to go to Walmart? It's Christmas Eve. Come on, to take, you, you take, your ass can take me to Walmart. Come on. <laughs> I was like, Mama, I can't go to Walmart yeah. with you on Christmas Eve. Right. Yes, you can. Hey, I, you ain't famous. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. So I get the car, uh -huh. drive her to Walmart in Hamilton, Louisiana. Uh -huh. We get oh, out. Yeah. I, go, I go into that Walmart. 
it goes bananas. I know it, I know it yes. does. And they're pushing her out the way, trying to get to oh, me. Oh, and I'm pushing your mom. Pushing my mom out the way. Oh, no. So we get back in the car. Her hair's all messed up. And she said, is it like that everywhere? Hell, don't come to Walmart with me no more. Damn. Yeah. That was a great moment. Uh, that was a great moment. I love it. That's a great, great story, <laughs> All right, follow me wow. on Mike, at my girl, Shirley.